Thanks for joining us, and let's get started. Welcome to our intermediate series on secrets of success, rich and happy. This episode will talk about giving with a bigger purpose. We'll address that giving is a gift you give yourself, growing through giving and considering charity. As usual, we'll introduce you to your personal challenge, which is designed to get you in the habit of practicing things that are healthy for the new you. Ready? Awesome, let's get started. With that, we invite you to get settled in a place where you can digest this information without interruption or struggle, clear your mind, and get ready to take the next step in a vital transformation. Let's start with a brief moment of silence to focus and meditate on what you're about to learn, receive, and practice. Hi everybody and welcome to session number seven where we're going to talk about giving with a bigger purpose. And I mean the best way to open this session is by asking you a question. Did you ever meet a human being on this planet who are happy without contributing or giving or being generous? And the reason I ask you that because we believe that through giving, a person becomes really happy. Why? Very simple. Because would you be wanting to become uh, on a side of the receiving or on the side of the giving? Everybody want to give. We, we, we love to be generous. You know, sometimes you don't give because you don't feel you have enough or you're afraid you're not going to have enough in the future. Now, giving can be divided to few areas. You can either give physical things or you can give time or you can give love. When you're talking about physical things, it could be, you know, charity, it could be money, it could be clothing, it could be socks, it could be shoes, it could be food. You know, those are physical things. Giving time will be volunteering, find a place you can volunteer and add something to them with your time. And then love could be that you, whatever you do, you know, whatever you give money or physical thing or time, do it with love. If you're already volunteers, if you're already giving money, do it with love, do it with passion. You know, it can be also giving a compliment. That's also giving. Everything is giving. You're going to be busy being of a giving personality or giving person. Giving make you more happy. Giving make you more fulfilled. Very simple because think about it. If you remember when we spoke before about the light, the endless light, the higher intelligent, what is that force doing all day long? Giving, sharing, fulfilling you. When you act like that, what are you going to feel? You become basically the creator of your action. You're no longer reacting to your action. When you are reacting to everything, you're busy receiving. When you are creating something, what are you doing? You are giving, you are sharing. That's a different. And for that reason, some people call that divine creator. They don't know what it is. But they know there is some higher power, the first that was creating something. When you acting like it, you know, you become it. When you become it, you become sharing person. That's why you are happy. You want to be happy. You have to start thinking about how you're going to give. Are you going to give time? Are you going to give money? Are you going to give clothing? Are you going to give with love or not with love? Ask yourself those questions. Where are you going to give? You got to ask that question as well. Now, is giving is a one thing. Giving is all day long every minute of the day, but I'm not asking you right away to transform and do it. You know, the practice of giving is, is, is taking some time. It's taking a lot of practice because the giving cannot be, okay, I'm going to give once a month, you know, let me write a check. Writing a check is, is good. I mean, you're writing a check, you give charity, you give maybe your tithing, 10%, whatever that you want to do, but there is more to it than just writing a check. Because once you're writing a check and you're expecting yourself to be happy, eh, not the same it would be. Basically, you would take some ink, put it on a piece of paper, and say, make me happy now. Here, I pay uh, $2,000 for my happiness. I will tell you that you might be um, disappointed. So, so what does that mean? Is it the amount? Is it the quality? It's both. 
It's how often you give. Are you are looking and searching to give every day. And if, if it's not money, then it's time. If it's not time, then it's compliment. If it's not compliment, it's something. You gotta be in a giving mode. You gotta be in a giving mode. It's not about that one thing you did and gave that will make you happy. You look and you're searching for how can I give more in every opportunity. You know, you're walking into a restaurant and you see somebody desire that table that you plan on receiving and they really want to get, here you go, that's your chance of giving. Are you going to do it or not? <laughs> what are you going to do right now? He said, well, if I'm giving them that table, my favorite table in the restaurant, I will be miserable. Try it. Once you will be able to let it go and give it, you'll be happy. The same thing with charity. The same thing with everything that you are doing. You know, when Debbie and me decided to open Vital Transformation as being the one place that you can come for free and you don't have to pay, we knew that by us giving to the world such an information, knowledge, you know, such a wisdom, such a philosophy for the world, we knew that people will benefit from it. Every day that we are doing so, we enjoy ourselves. We are happy. It motivates us to continue more and more and more. Because the happiness that we get by doing, sharing, and giving is tremendous. And we guide our client, and we guide our student, and we guide our follower. And every opportunity that you have to give, whatever it is in a party, whatever it is when you drive the car, whatever it is when you eat, whatever it is when you are walking, there is always opportunity to give. Now, I want to make a distinguish between manners of giving and spiritual giving. A lot of times people fall into the category of manners. Yes, it's nice to have good manners. Have a good manners. You ever saw a kid when his mother or father said, say thank you, say thank you, say thank you. What is the kids doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I have the candy now? Thank you, thank you. The kids don't even mean it. The parents just teach manners. And those manners is for who? It's for the family not to be embarrassed that the kids grabbing that candy or gum or chocolate so the parents look good. Is this sharing there? No, it's manners. We look good and it's receiving again. There is no giving there. It's just receiving thanks, you know, and giving thanks. That's what you're doing. That's all what you're doing. When it's come from a spiritual point, if you look at it different, my friend, unbelievable different, unbelievable different. When it's come from a spiritual point of view, it's not about what people think about you when you do sharing. It's about you are understanding that there is rules in this universe. The way that this universe operates is the giver become happy. So you are excited when you have the capability to give, whatever it is, money, time, or love. You are actually excited. You say, wow, I can't believe I have the opportunity to give. Where can I give? What do I need to do to give? You are searching for more and more to give. Then you become happier. You know, charity is important things that exist everywhere, you know, to be charitable. Um, and the idea of giving charity is the first step to giving and sharing. You can start slowly. Some people give charity by doing 10% from the income that they have, and they feel comfortable when they do that because they feel they sharing, they become more generous with the global community. Everybody doing it in their own way. The reason I'm starting with charity, because charity is the easiest thing to do. Before you give time, before you do everything with love, the best way to practice is giving charity, giving physical thing. Giving physical thing will help yourself to grow from the body consciousness or from the body awareness, from the reflex awareness into the soul awareness. Because what is giving physical thing? You actually teaching your body to give. You tell your body it's time for you to learn to give. And I wanted to share with you a story with my kids, education to my children. When my children were very young, you know, what I used to do, I used to always reach out to their plate when we're sitting in a restaurant and take a piece of their food. Not because I wanted their food, because I want to teach them giving away something physical. And you will ask my kids, I wish you will meet my kids and ask them, you know, till today, you know, it's not bothering them if somebody wants something they have on their plate. Ask yourself, if somebody reach out right now to your plate to cut a piece of your steak, the good part, or vegetables or whatever you have, how do you feel? 
How do you feel? Some of you make some noise like a dog. You know that noise when you get close to the foot of the dog? You know? We acting sometimes not in a polite way, but not from a manner's point of view. We don't know how to share. We're so nervous if somebody take my food. You know? But remember, food or money or any physical thing, when you give it, you're controlling it. When you have to receive it, it's controlling you. So charity is a way to maintain control over your body. When your mind controls your body, is only when a person is capable to give physical things away. Hi, I would like to challenge you in this session when we talk about charity. Now, one of the way to do it right, to, to transform yourself, is to commit. As I said before, it's not one-time giving. I want you to start challenging yourself on a monthly basis to start giving 10% of your income to a place where you feel help with your spiritual growth. And once you do that, you will see how slowly, slowly, you're changing from the body, reflex, awareness, into a soul awareness. And through that, you'll feel more fulfilled, more happy, and more spiritual. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This is the conclusion of our series, but not the end of our content. We hope you've enjoyed this journey have accepted the challenges and are moving forward towards your goals. For more information, visit us at vitaltransformation.org where you'll find access to all of our guided sessions, content library, weekly updates, and upcoming events. To keep content like this new, relevant, and free to the public, make a donation today at vitaltransformation.org donate or write to us at donate at vitaltransformation.org. Thanks for joining us and we'll speak to you soon.